Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios, back again with another hashtag SSS Beta vlog every day in April. Uh, it's Saturday and it's the 16th, so we're on the home stretch, folks, to this Veda thing. And um, just jumping right into the question of the day. Question of the day is what book have you read that you would also recommend someone else read? And um, I actually have two books. Uh, one is more like a, a life book. The other one's more about, you know, uh, you know, passion, you know, finding what it is that you do. I mean, I think we all can kind of relate to both of these, but I'll start with the first book. And also this book right here, I actually did a review, book review uh, on my channel. So uh, definitely check that out too, because I won't go too in depth with it but um, today, but I'll just kind of briefly give you the idea of the book. And this one is called So Good They Can't Ignore You, <laughs> right? That's a hot one, that's a hot one. Uh, this one was by Cal Newport. Um, I think this one was recommended by Ty Lopez, if you follow him. He did a review on his channel, so I saw it there. And um, it's actually pretty good. I mean, it talks about passion, but it also talks about passion in the sense that you got to have the skills to kind of make your passion work. I mean, I think passion, um, everyone's talking about passion. you got to have passion to do this. you got to have passion to do that. And I believe that. I think passion is what keeps you motivated to keep going after it, even when things get tough. But I think you can also have the skills to kind of make it work, right? I mean, you got to have the skills to kind of build up, you know, get people to notice you. And if you combine those two, skills and passion, boom, that's unbeatable. So that's so good. They can't ignore you. Um, it's an interesting book. Um, also gives you a blueprint to how to make your passion work and also how to kind of build up your skills in a sense um, so that you can uh, get to that level. The next book is more about life, love, if you want to say that one. And I think uh, Hot Chocolate Fitness has also reviewed this book or talked about this book. This one's The Five Love Languages. Um, I thought this was a good one in the sense that um, I borrowed it from a friend. I was stretching myself in the sense that it's not necessarily a type of book that I usually read. And um, it was good. It was a good read. It's not too heavy. You know, a lot of examples, so I was appreciated. Um, but it talks about how people give love or show love and also receive love. You know, those kind of things. I mean, I think, you know, relationship, obviously this is talking about marriage relationship, but I think it can, you know, you know, benefit any relationship if you talk, you know, if you're, you know, trying to show appreciation, trying to show love to someone. Um, it gives you how to recognize that from someone else and how to recognize it in yourself, which is really important. Um, it was good, you know, I mean, you know, it's not like a lovey-dovey book, you know what I'm saying, that guys can read as much as women can read it, um, you know, um, I think even Hot Chocolate Love said the same thing, uh, or Hot, <laughs> I'm sorry, Hot Chocolate Fitness, shout out to him for that, um, but yeah, I think it's a good book, um, I read it, it like I said, it didn't take me long to read it, there's a lot of examples, it's really light reading, and I think for anyone in a relationship, anyone wanting to build a relationship they should read this check it out you know it's uh gives you some insight that you might not otherwise uh have so those are the two books i would recommend that i read um and again if you check my channel there's other book reviews that i've done um for some of the books i've read in the past and they're all they're all good books you know all books recommended by you know entrepreneurs and um you know people in the uh marketing kind of uh uh, industry. So, yeah, um, let's keep it short. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And uh, like we always do at this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.